Alrighty folks, welcome back to Cardboard Slayer. Today, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, I'm going to be drawing the symbol for the band Samurai onto some thin cardboard. Samurai is the one of the main characters, Johnny, from Cyberpunk's band, and their symbol is pretty cool for the band, Samurai. So, I figured I would draw it onto thin cardboard first, with pencil, and then do the major details in pen and then once I do that I'm going to cut out the general shape I'm going to glue it onto thicker cardboard and then I'm gonna really cut out all the fine details because basically what my plan is I'm going to once I have the fine details cut out I'm gonna glue them onto a bigger piece of cardboard make a very thin box almost like a painting type deal I might even take an idea from a painting's frame and then I'm going to wire up lights paint the the inside of it black I'm gonna wire up lights put them on the inside with the black and then have a switch attached to the lights so when you turn it on it illuminates the black inside of the eyes the mouth and the background of it so let me draw this because it's gonna take a while to draw um, once I do that, I'll get back to you guys. I'll I'll draw it and then I'll probably end up cutting it out and then gluing it and stuff. But I'll get back to you guys in like a few. All right, I got it finished. Took me about an hour or so to do this. This was way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. And then I ended up shading it like a psycho. But um, this is the general symbol. It's obviously not painted or anything like that, but um, it's not perfect. Like I said, I freehanded it, but it's pretty good for what it is. So now I'm going to cut out the general outline of it, and then I'm going to glue it onto thicker cardboard, and then I'm going to really cut out the eyes, all the major details. So let me cut this thing out, the general shape, and then I will find a thicker piece of cardboard and glue it to that, and then... I'll start cutting stuff out. So give me one second. Alrighty. Got this puppy generally cut out. I had to cut off one of the top little flame pieces. If I have to, I'll try and glue it on, but I'm thinking space is going to be an issue. Because I'm kind of starting to run out of thicker cardboard for now. But um, I cut out some thick cardboard as well. I'm just going to glue this on, and then I'm going to start cutting. So... Give me one second to really glue this on because I had to use an edge piece of one of the boxes and it's kind of flimsy. So let me carefully glue that thing down and then I will start cutting it out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm a little ways through cutting it. Um, what I plan to do is the mouth, the eyes, maybe the eye in here is going to be where the light comes through. And everything else, all these other finer details... I'm just going to strip away the first layer of cardboard, which you can tell I kind of already did like here, and I'm working on here. I don't know if you can see that too well, but then I will paint those black and leave the eyes and mouth open. But um, let me continue cutting this because it's taking forever, and once I'm done, I'll show you guys what I'm about to do. Okay, I got almost all the trimming done now. Except for like a few of the little fine details, stuff like that. But I went ahead and I, I carved out all this stuff in here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue it to a bigger, thicker piece of cardboard. Because I'm going to use that for the box, for the light. I'll put the light in the back. But once I glue it to it, I'm going to start painting it. And then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done painting it. So I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, I got this thing attached to some thicker cardboard and I also painted the background. I'm going to start painting the finer details in black and then I will do the red and blue afterwards. But I just wanted to show you guys this and give you kind of an idea of what I'm doing. I cut holes in the mouth and eyes so the light can come through once I'm completely done building it. But I figured I'd rather paint it first, get all the fine details done first, then I'll start making the rest of the box and the lights and all that stuff but let me finish painting because it's going to take a while and then I'll get back to you guys 
Okay, I've gotten into the painting now. I just wanted to show you guys, like, especially that area. That's why I did the black first and then the red. Because it's stifled and the black's going to be hidden when I do the red. Well, it won't be hidden, but I won't be able to touch the black with the red as I'm doing it. I mean, once this is done, this is going to look awesome. And then throw the lights behind it, it's going to look so much better. But <clears throat> let me continue doing all the red. It's very tedious. I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you a little bit of what I'm doing so far. Alright, I got all the red done. As you can see, it's still kind of drying. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the blue and then finish up all the finer, finer details. And then once I'm done and it's finally dry, then I'll show you how I'm going to do the lights, how I solder them together, all that stuff, and I'll build the box around the whole thing. But right now I'm just trying to get all this painting done. It's very tedious, takes forever. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you what I got done so far. I will be back in a few. Alright, I got all the blue done as you can tell. It's still drying right now, it's probably going to take a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to start making the back for it and uh, kind of enclose the back in. I went ahead and I gathered some supplies. I got a switch here with a positive and negative. I got multiple lights. I'm going to have to rework this whole setup, but I got extra lights if I need them. I got my solder my soldering irons over there but I'm gonna let that dry in the meantime I'm gonna make the back for it and then when that's ready I'm going to rework the lights and show you what I did so far because what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna put a light behind this behind that and behind the mouth since I have three lights and then I'm gonna enclose them in and put the switch where I can turn it on from the bottom or something and hide the battery pack inside there but I might even make like a little door at the bottom so you can get the battery pack out pretty easy but let me do all this stuff real quick kind of get set up and then I'll get back to you guys all right I did not make the box yet I'm kind of messing around with the lights and getting them set up this is basically what I'm gonna do I have two for the eyes I'm gonna attach them there and there run them around the mouth down to the bottom and attach those and then I'll run two wires, if I can grab them, I'll run two extra wires from each end into this and the battery pack. And it should work that I can turn it on and off with the switch. But let me solder it and mess around with it because it's been a while since I soldered stuff kind of rusty at it so I'm gonna probably have to work on this a little bit but once I get it set up I'll show you guys I'll show you the little preview of the lighting and stuff so give me one second all right I got this pretty much wired up and ready to roll I just need to connect the positive to the positive on the lights and the negative to the negative on the lights I got two lights up here one down there I need to glue this one into place but let me just give you kind of like a little diagram of how I did this. If you see all these connections, don't mind them. Don't let them take you off guard. All they are just to extend the wire all the way down to this light and then all the way down into the switch, which I glued the switch into the bottom. So when I flip this up, the switch is underneath. But yeah. It's basically how you want to wire up lights to a battery pack. It's really not hard. I'm not sure how LEDs are. I've never really tried them. I use old school lights because I kind of like doing the soldering and stuff. It's pretty fun. But um, let me connect all this stuff together, get it glued down and fastened to the way I want it. And then I'll plug the batteries in and I'll show you guys what the lights are going to look like. Then all I got to do is put the back on this thing and it's ready to roll. So give me a few minutes to do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I have everything soldered up. Everything's all together. I already tried it out. It works. I made a little flap for the battery to come out. I kind of framed it in a little bit. I made the back already as well. I'm going to take, solder up uh, one of these last wires down here. Put the back on, make a little hole in the back for me to be able to hang this, and then I'm done. So give me a few minutes to just finish up, and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, finally got her finished. 
I got switch in the bottom, battery pack on the side. Uh, I showed you guys how to wire up lights. I tested them out so I know they work, but let me give you a little preview. I'm just going to turn out my big light and then show you what the lights look like. And then there you go. You got light coming out from the inside. It's nothing crazy. It's not super bright, but I like it. I like the way it came out. Let me turn them off. Turn my big light back on. So now you guys know how to wire up lights. I mean, you can make your own things with what I showed you and hopefully have a little brighter lights than what I have. But like I said, it is what it is. I'm just happy with the way that looks. That paint job came out so cool. And I'm going to fix the back and I'm going to hang that thing on my wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, uh, comment, or subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.